there and welcome to the call to cinema i am aaron and this is not my movie library as you can tell my movie library that's <laughs> two floors down tonight we're making a video upstairs and why we're we making a video upstairs basically it's uh it's a pretty simple reason actually <clears throat> because i wanted to make sure we had hopefully have a good internet connection up here uh, but more so than anything else it's so that uh we could actually look at the sales that are going on tonight because there's been sales going on for a couple days it's uh pretty awesome and i've been I've had like, I don't know how many people, hey Chris, welcome man, uh, mention to me, are you going to talk about the arrow sale, are you going to talk about the arrow sale, are you going to talk about the arrow sale? So the question, the, answer, the question, the answer to that question is yes, yes I am right now. But there's two sales going on simultaneously right now. <clears throat> One that excites me more, unfortunately I can't quite get anything from it this time. And it's the first time they've had one like this in my size. And uh, But what I'll do first is I'll briefly talk about the one that I, I'm super stoked about that's going on right now. And then I'm going to get into the Arrow sale, which we'll go through the Arrow releases. I'm, I got a couple of sample releases over there to give you an idea if you're new to Arrow. Um, answer a question I was asked last night, when I, well, last time I did an Arrow video. And uh, that is pretty much this. So we, what, hopefully you guys can see the screen pretty good right here. Hey, hey there, David. <clears throat> I, I, I actually heard... I. I mean to say, I actually didn't know what to say. Uh, my th thoughts and uh, go to you and your family right now. I cannot even imagine what what that's like. And uh, everyone sends uh, some positive vibes, or if you're a prayer person, prayers over to uh, to David and his family right now because this is rough. And I, <clears throat> sorry, man. I have. Just I hope you and your family, you know, it's not easy. I cannot even imagine. But you take care. Because. <clears throat> so that being said, it's a crazy time in the world right now. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, look at some to totally shallow stuff that uh, hopefully make us feel a bit better. <clears throat> with everything that's going on right now and that are, are these are these sales so hopefully you guys can like right now it's a lot of white but can you right now there's a freight rags has the tea of mystery sale going on tie collector I don't like tie collector <clears throat> you're talking to Tom are you talking to really Tom Cruise so that's kind of cool. Maybe I shouldn't have made my video tonight. <laughs> that, thanks David, and just, I don't, honestly, yeah, I don't, you're definitely in, my, in our thoughts and prayers here at the Penn household, so you take care, man. Sometimes reality comes into this and uh, it's, you know. <clears throat> and it's important to acknowledge that. Right back at you, David. You have a great evening there. Enjoy your time with your family, because that's, that's important, in a really crazy, topsy-turvy type of time. Tell me about some sales. <coughs> All right, we do have sales going on. I'll listen to the man. <coughs> First off, we have the Tea of Mystery sale. Now, if you don't know what a Tea of Mystery is, uh, then you probably do, because if you watch my channel, then you know I did an unboxing of, of Fright Rags last year. <laughs> hey there, Kobe. Um, so... Two of my best t-shirts that I ever gotten are like are two Fright Rags exclusive t-shirts. One is a Sol on a Daily Night t-shirt, which is basically an ad for the store, the, the fictional store. And the other one is a Sol on a Daily Night 2 shirt, which is the pretty, pretty much the artwork that is on the uh, <clears throat> that is on that is on the uh, on the Scream Factory uh, Blu-ray. Now, right now they have the Tea Mystery. And what the Tea Mystery is, is it can be it'll come in a black package and you won't know what you're gonna get. Um, 
you can choose from sizes. Now, just to let you know what sizes are, are still available. Uh, let's go on them right now. Let's go to the TMS3 and see. So small, medium, large, 2X, 4X, and 5X are all still available on the TMS3 right now. <clears throat> you can't get more than three. So you can get a, a limit of three. Now, just to let you know, their t-shirts can be normally pretty expensive, like $30, $40. Uh, if they're on sale, you can sometimes get them for $25. The Team Mystery shirts, and they're like the same shirt, same quality, there's nothing wrong with the shirts, are $9 each. So just like soak that in for a second. <coughs> a shirt that's going to cost you around $30 or $40 normally, a t-shirt <coughs> from one of the, from the premium t-shirt company in the world, uh, Freight Rags. If you're into horror shirts or sci-fi shirts, this is the place to go, uh, is now going to cost you $9. And some of the shirts, they always put some shirts back into limited print runs, so that when you have a tea mystery sale, there is a possible chance of getting one of the limb, one of the t-shirts that has gone out of print. Much like you know, we have like limits on like on Blu-rays and, and you know, and, and sometimes vinyl, but you know, you know, with thousand or two thousand, whatever. When a freight rag shirt goes out of print, it goes out of print. That means they don't make it anymore. Now they do put some aside for this sale. So you can find things that uh, aren't here, aren't normally here. So I'm just going to pick one at random. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Poltergeist. So that sound good? So this, no, it's not a lot here for the Poltergeist one. Um, but we'll just look at one just to randomly see it. So this is the, I can't, I don't think you can see it good here because I can't get a good close up on it. Give you an idea. So. This is the clown, the evil clown doll from, from Poltergeist. And there's a t-shirt of it with him sitting in the chair, that, that epic scene from Poltergeist. I do recommend checking out the Cursed TV, uh, TV show that's coming on Shudder right now. Uh, they've done three episodes so far. They've done uh, Exorcist, Omen, and Poltergeist. Poltergeist was my favorite. <clears throat> Let's try to see if we can find another one here. Maybe a hammer or Halloween or something like that. So there's all kinds of like shirts that could end up on this here. This is a Halloween 2 shirt, for instance. I'm not sure if you can see it well here. <clears throat> when I get to the, uh, to the arrow stuff, it's, it's easier because I can zoom it in. But this one here, unfortunately, doesn't let you do it. Uh, let's see if I can get at least a bigger one. Hopefully you can see it. Anyway, that's going on right now. But that's not the only thing within that sale right now. Uh, there is one other thing. So aside from the tea of mystery, uh, Fried Rig also does, much like Severn does, enamel pins. So there is the pin of mystery. So if you're a collector of pins, enamel pins, whore pins, and stuff like that, <coughs> then their enamel pins are also on sale. Uh, and they're pins of, you know, pins of mystery, so you don't know which enamel pin you're going to get. But they're on for $3 each. Again, a limit of three. Uh, and these things normally go, obviously, much more uh, pricey than that. Uh, they do have some really cool pins here, uh, and hopefully, I can I can size one up for you a bit. So you got things like the they're right here. You can't see it very well here, but there's a leprechaun pin. There's a twisty the clown pin here. Uh, the one I would love to get is the wishmaster pin, or the jaws enamel pin, which is of the poster, which is fantastic. Uh, Anybody gets an extra Wishmaster pin and wants to send them out, I'd much appreciate it. Uh, there's, a, there's even a blood diner pin. So there's all kinds of crazy stuff here. Uh, stuff you wouldn't expect and some amazing stuff. There's a creature from the Black Lagoon pin. Um, and you, don't, you just don't know what you're going to get when you open it. It's a, it's a black like plastic and you, you don't know what's inside of it. And it's super exciting. It's like Christmas. You, don't, like, you got these presents and you don't know what they are. You get it, it comes to your door. You... Uh, you got these black bags, you rip them open, there's gonna be a t-shirt inside, there's gonna be a sticker, there's gonna be like a candy inside there too, there's gonna to be like a card. So it's, it's a real, really done like in a, in a cool collector's way. There's lots of unboxings of like tea mystery uh, shirts online, but $9 for a tea mystery shirt is amazing, the price is, inc is insane. Uh, the pin, the enamel pin's for $3, that's incredible. Uh, I'm, I'm a person that didn't normally collect enamel pins, then I got my first Severn uh, bundle package that had enamel pins with it, and I've been addicted to them ever since. 
I haven't got enough yet. I've only got a few enamel pins in my collection. Very few, actually, like two or three. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> but I definitely want to have more. And uh, I don't think, is there one that comes with the Al Abson set? I don't think there is, actually. That's, that's a damn shame. If, where is there? Maybe there's an Al Abson enamel pin. I cannot remember. Um, I think they had, like, the last time I checked, they had one copy of the Al Adamson bundle left. And I hope one of you guys were able to get it that, that didn't get it and, like, kind of upgraded because it is going to be a magnificent set. <clears throat> but this is just the first. We haven't even got to the arrow set yet. We're going to get the arrow sound second. Don't worry. Um, but I thought this was interesting to say. They've even got, like, they've teamed up. Hey, so welcome. The Freight Rags has a sale going on right now, man. Uh... Enamel pins, mystery enamel pins. You don't know which ones you're going to get. Three bucks each. T-shirts, Tia Mystery shirts, nine dollars each. Uh, so Fred Ray's also teamed up with Fangoria. So they had some Fangoria pins that were done. There's like a whole box set of Fangoria pins. Uh, so you can end up getting one of those. Or what would be kind of neat, I'm a huge fan of Halloween. So they got a, a, a pin of the T-shirt that K Kathleen Kenmont wore in Halloween 4. Cops do it by the book. And I'm not going to lie, I, I would... Totally dig that pin right there. So that there's a, a lot of cool stuff coming from uh, from Fright Rags, and uh, this uh, I don't know how long these sales usually go on for like a day. I don't think this sale is going to go any longer than that. Uh, basically, just or well, they last. And we, as we know, if you're uh, if you're a guy, for instance, uh, you've already had the extra large and the 3x sellout. There's only small, medium, large, 2x, 4x, and 5x left. Um, when it comes to uh, to girls, because I I do have girls that come on here, not a lot because it's me. There's only extra extra small and extra small left in the women's shirts and uh, pins. Well, you just never know what you're gonna get. And some of the other things like they are on sale as well. But like for instance, this there's a uh, a t-shirt on sale here for twenty two forty of Twisty the Clown. <coughs> now imagine you can't you can't still get that shirt. That shirt is a possibility within the black, is in the T of mystery black bags. So think of it like when you're a kid, when you're a kid. I hope well you're my age when you're a kid anyway, and you'd get like these surprise packages. Uh, you'd be like twenty five cents or a buck, something like that, um, and you would never know like what was going to be inside, but you'd be super excited and you'd be stoked. And a lot of times, like back in surprise packages, a lot of it was all like candy and junky stuff. But every once in a while you find a cool prize, right? Uh, and no matter what, even if you had like a million of them before and you were always let down, you always got excited when you got that next surprise package before you opened up because it's always, it's part of the, it's the appeal of the unknown of what you, of getting something and not being sure what you're going to get. Hey there, Javid. Fright Rake sale. Uh, $9 tea mystery shirts, $3 pin of mystery shirts, but pin of mystery Pins mystery. And I guess we should go back to Arrow. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me about this sale. Arrow has started a big sale. So has anybody ordered yet from the Arrow sale? I was talking to the Colettes <coughs> earlier. And if you don't know the Colettes, actually, they do a really good... Uh, they're on... Uh, I've seen them on Instagram. They do stuff on YouTube. They're a very, they're kind of like a, their fitness people and uh their story is amazing definitely worth checking out um and i was talking to them about the sale here they told me it's an amazing sale it's the best sale they've seen arrow do in a long long time <coughs> but uh so is i don't know because you know what i have not yet looked at the arrow sale uh to be bluntly honest with you this is my first time looking with here here with you guys and I'm a little, I just got out of the shower. <clears throat> so I'm looking at it with you guys tonight. I'll give you some suggestions on stuff to get. I'll be, there's like 45 pages. So I'm not going to mention everything on every page. I will mention some of the, of the big stuff. <clears throat> oh, there was a, a bunch of stuff reprinted. Yes. <clears throat> so here it is right here. The six Gothic Tales reprint is done. Is on here it's for 25 pounds on the arrow sale right now that normally runs for like 50 pounds so it's half price <clears throat> now you get all the same movies and all the same features that was in my original set the only thing you don't get is a hardcover book with the uh with the with the stories and the reprints of the dell comics 
<clears throat> but all the movies and all the features are there. So you're getting the main stuff. The house collection is there, the reprint of the house collection. And I did bring that here so you can see what one of their uh, reprint collections look like. Actually, I brought two because the ring set is there too. Now, ring and house both had a set with a booklet. <clears throat> Some people ask me, is it worth it? Is it even worth getting it without having the booklet? I mean, there, you know, some people are really big on the books. Me, I, I like getting the books, but in the case of the house and arrow set, you'll see. So first off, this is the house set, the house collection. Now there are four movies in the house collection. <laughs> this is this one is done differently than I've seen any other uh, arrow set done, except for the Sartana set. Sartana set has a similar look to it as well. So. It's pretty much, hey there Chris, has the same type of feel to it, except it has these slender, like uh, ones. And look at the artwork on these Arrow releases. These are amazing, the artwork on these are amazing. Like this alone, if you've never watched a house movie before in your life, this is definitely going to make you want to watch a house movie. Even part four. Like they really went all out when it came to the artwork on this. <clears throat> there are some great features. And when I say great features, I'm not even joking. I mean, just look, that's all features right there. All that are, that are features. You're looking at documentaries you're on all these audio commentaries, interviews, just loaded with stuff. And if you ever picked up the horror show, which was the Scream Factory edition of House 3, uh, this one here actually gets you the uncut European version <clears throat> of the... Uh, of this film, which is not available in North America because you get the original theatrical cut of the horror show. But this is House 3, so you get the uncut European edition of it and you get the theatrical edition as well, along with features that aren't on the Scream Factory edition. So if you've just got the horror show and you're thinking, I don't really need that, I'll, I'll maybe I'll pick up House on the Road for 25 pounds, great price, and all four films loaded with features, great box set, goes well into your case. Now, <clears throat> they put out a ring set, and I'm a huge fan of the ring series, <clears throat> but the first box set that came out, I wasn't a fan, and and I'm one of those per people uh, that I'll be completely on. I'm, I'm a huge fan of like Friday 13th. This Here's an example for you, but <clears throat> they announced the Friday 13th. Remember that tin that came out? It's a steel tin. at had all the movies on Blu-ray. <clears throat> I took one look at the steel tin. I said, no, I don't want that in my collection. <laughs> it looks horrible, and uh, I didn't buy it, even though I was... I was Probably the biggest fan of Friday 13th you're ever going to meet. I just couldn't get over the aesthetic look of it. Uh, it, it got to me. <clears throat> Thankfully, there's a new one coming out now, so that's good. So, Screen Factory, make a good addition. <clears throat> uh, so, when the ring first came out, I, I didn't like the look of the uh, of the ring. It's uh, arrowfilms.com, uh, I think. <clears throat> I'd have to check back here because when you put it on here, it doesn't show you anymore. <clears throat> but if you put right in Arrow Films in your Google search bar, it'll come up. <clears throat> but they re-released the ring book, now the ring set. Now this one didn't have the book. The the Horror Project Volume 1 is out of print. I'm not sure if they re read that one or not. I'll look to see what they got here. <clears throat> volume, both volumes are great. Most people like Volume 2 uh, better than Volume 1. Am I talking about Anthology of Terror release? Uh, I'm not sure what the Anthology of Terror release is. <clears throat> but this here, this ring collection, I love. I love the look of this one. I did not like the look of the one with the book. Uh, if I could find the book on eBay just on its own, I'll, I'll probably buy it down the road. But uh, yeah, I loved the look of this ring set. It is gorgeous. And what's really cool about it, and it's this is just a silly thing that I find really neat. So, there's one, there's two, and there's three. As you see, she's getting closer with each one. It's a solid hard box <clears throat> oh no no I'm just talking about the one they put it before this like you put it one with a booklet but I didn't like the cover of it but this here this is the one on the site right now so this one right here is 25 pounds on the Arrow website right now that's half price uh, this thing normally rents you 50 so uh, great deal you get all three ring films so we get four really because there's two ring twos um, one called Spiral, and no, not Tuzumaki, uh, but uh, but Spiral's in the uh, original version <clears throat> of uh, of the second ring film. 
and then they made another one because that one didn't do so well and then they made the Ring Zero. There's great features on the Ring ones, by the way. There's a great, great featurette with Jasper Sharp where he talks about the entire J-horror. Uh, <clears throat> he talks about the entire J-horror genre and he goes through it in detail. He goes into, um, there's also a feature there that talks about, like really gets in depth with the Ring, talks about like the, the origins of the film and all it's like, like mythological origins that came through it. it. It is excellent and I recommend it to any and everyone. I should have brought it in my Sertana set too because that is also on sale for 25 pounds. And if you haven't picked up the Sartana set, if you are any type of Spaghetti Western fan at all, the Sartana set is utterly freaking amazing. So let's open it up in a new tab here. And it is done much like the, uh, <clears throat> so this is a Sartana set. <clears throat> so just look at that artwork right there. I know you can see that. Uh, And we got, like, if you meet Sertana, pray for death. I am Sertana, your angel of death. Have a good funeral, my friend. Sertana will pay. <clears throat> I, there's an, a limb, there, I think there's an old bow one I know. I'll check for you. Light the fuse. Sertana's coming. Sertana's here. Trade your pistol for a coffin. I love these titles. <clears throat> but not only that, but <clears throat> there are a ton of extras on these. Uh, from original idol commentaries, featurettes, interviews with directors, writers, actors from the film. So, <clears throat> just a ton of stuff. Even Erica Blanc who was like a famous like Italian actress, and she worked a lot in like things like The Devil's Nightmare, like a lot of Italian horror. So she's interviewed on here as well. Definitely one worth checking out. Uh, Sartana, please Sartana set also runs at twenty five pounds. You could probably pick up a couple big sets there. The Hellraiser trilogy, much like the Ring ones done. The Hellraiser set. If you didn't get the uh, the big like Scarlet Box edition that was done. Or some people didn't want the Scarlet Box edition because they found it a little bit too bulky. <clears throat> or the, it came in like kind of like cardboard cases. <clears throat> hey there, Alan. Who played Sartana? Uh, depends on the film, actually. Uh, was it George Hilton in those? Franco Nero, I know, played, uh, I know it was in the Django. Who's in, was it? Uh, Gianni Garco was Sartana. Thank you. I, I forgot, actually. <clears throat> Jenny Garko is Sartana. So if you like the Ringo stuff, if you like the the Fistful Dollars and stuff like that, you're going to love the Sartana set. It is a great like spaghetti western experience. you you got a bunch of movies to dive into, uh, a bunch of features. You'll, it'll make you really appreciate spaghetti westerns even more. And if you can do it, if the ring, if I look through here and the Ringo set's on sale too and you don't have that, get yourself the Sartana set and get yourself the Ringo double feature. You're going to have like hours and hours. You're going to have a weekend, a week of, oh yeah, I like Sartana. Kind of like Django, definitely like Django, and Sartana's fun. <clears throat> Sartana's really, really fun. If you like Django, if you like Ringo, if you like spaghetti, if you like spaghetti westerns, uh, Gianni Garco, Gianni Garco, I'm, I'm probably butchering the name, uh, does a great job, and I definitely recommend it. I recommend the Ringo ones as well. The Hellraiser set is here too. That's on for twenty five pounds. Uh, if you're into like the more serious stuff, like the you know, like the or Academy stuff. They have the eight hours, don't make a day one here, of course, from uh, Fassbender. There's the Vengeance Trilogy. I was asked about the, uh, do they have Old Buy? Well, they got the whole Vengeance Trilogy on Blu ray here as well. <clears throat> if you like the Clint Eastwood, I think you're going to like Sartana. I really do think you're going to like Sartana. So the, if you like the Old Buy film, Old Buy, then there's Old Buy, Lady Vengeance, um, Sym Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. So all three of them are. Uh, are in, a, are in a box set on here for 25 pounds now. You can get all three of the films. You can get the Old Boy one, you can get the Lady Vengeance, and you can get Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. There's, again, look at this. So there's a ton of features. So uh, you got like, disc one is Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, disc two is Old Boy, disc three is Old Days, which is, includes a Old Boy story and acclaimed 2016 documentary on, on the film. Uh, disc four is Lady Vengeance, so you get a four disc set there. So it looks like Old Boy gets two discs. <clears throat> the Stray Cat Rock Rock Collection that was out of print, that's now been put back into a regular edition, a standard edition with all the Stray Cat Rock films. If you like the uh, that type of, that's that's all the film. We have now standard editions of ones that were out of print, like the Family Value set um, and the uh, Sajin Suzuki's Taisho Trilogy are now here as well. Those are running at 20 pounds each. So that's actually really good. The Sasha Guthrie four film set, if you like Sasha Guthrie, he's a, he's a French director, <clears throat> is running around 15 pounds. Uh, the Taviani Brothers collection runs 15 pounds. 
Um, and if and you can get some like some really good stuff here, like the Decalogue. Like if you had had passed up on the Decalogue before, <clears throat> the old the old Ledger packages. I think it's in a print. I'll I'll check though. Uh, then you got a, the regular edition of the Decalogue. I think it should have like most of the same features and stuff in there as well. It's just in regular packaging. Uh, let me just check here to be sure though. So this one's got the Guardian interview. I'm not sure. Like, I'm going to assume this has all the stuff from the. Uh, it's a three disc set. There's a whole deck log, all the deck log films on here from Krzysztof Kozlowski. Um, a good, like for ten pounds, it's definitely a good way to to supplement if you got the Criterion edition. Uh, Takeshi Mikai's Dead or Alive trilogy is on here for ten pounds, which I think is actually a pretty incredible price for that. <clears throat> the limited edition Robocop box set is here for uh, 18 pounds or you can buy the steelbook now if you're wondering about the limited edition Robocop box set I, I haven't seen the uh, as far as I can see I don't see it man I don't see uh, I can uh, hopefully they'll pr reprint it soon but uh but I haven't seen it reprinted uh, as of yet it doesn't doesn't seem to be here now I got asked about this one recently. So this is a limited edition Robocop set that came out. And it's an incredible set. And this is on, this is on for 18 pounds right now. Uh, it's got like a, a book. It's got a poster. It's got the, uh, it's got, you know, got the film. <coughs> Many different cuts of the film, by the way, <coughs> around here as well. Uh, there was a steel book put out and there was a, uh, hey, Warlock, welcome, man. So this is the uh, the Blu-ray on the inside of it. I love the stuff that comes. It comes with this like it comes with a sticker. There's like there's like postcards here. Uh, there's a booklet. Uh, there's a two disc edition on Blu-ray. Oh, on two Blu-ray edition because there's a bunch of cuts of the film. Is American Wharf London set here? There's a stash. This one here has. Let's just see. As the director's cut of the film, as the theatrical cut of the film, and I think if you look through there, there's a, there's also the, I think the TV cut of the film is here somewhere as well. I know there's at least a, there's a looking at you look at the, uh, there's a look at the TV cut of the film. Hey Mark, welcome man, welcome back. It's the Arrow sale. <laughs> For guys that came late, just to let you know there is a freight rake sale going on right now with nine dollar. Tea Mysteries and three dollar Pin of Mysteries. <clears throat> Arrow sets sell out really fast right now. If you're a fan of stuff like, uh, if you're a necromantic fan, uh, then uh, that director, what's his name again? I'm not gonna remember it. Uh, is one of his other films, Shram. Here is the limited edition, which has the Blu-ray and the CD as well. So if you're a fan of the necromantic stuff. Then, Shram is right here. Watching Dr. Giggles. I love Dr. Giggles. It's too bad he's not around to have made a sequel that. I, that was underrated. <clears throat> now, don't think there's just movies. There are other things on here as well. If you're a vinyl collector, the Iguana with the Tongue of Fire has a vinyl on here uh, for 15 pounds. There, uh, the Zero Buys has a translucent blue vinyl on here. Uh, there is a translucent clear vinyl for for Whirlpool, so if you've been collecting, say if you've been collecting the uh, the stuff from from Jose Larraz, and you want to dive into <coughs> their uh, like some of the uh, the soundtracks, you want to go into vinyl. So look at this. Look, this looks gorgeous. It's got a, a clear white translucent vinyl uh, here. I love the look of this. Um, I'm trying to remember the soundtrack to Whirlpool, uh, but it's been a while since I've seen that one. But it's neat to see that. Uh, that they're that they're doing stuff like that the sister street fighter trilogy is 10 pounds and that, that is <clears throat> oh i wish man <laughs> i have yet to get anything for a review copy of anything but that's okay <clears throat> i do this for the enjoyment of me and hopefully for the enjoyment of you too <clears throat> what stokes me is when you guys are able to find stuff Freight Rags, Javit, is a horror t-shirt company, uh, and they're probably the most famous horror t-shirt company in the world. Uh, they do a bunch of, uh, of different stuff from 
everything from, from the work with Fangoria, with American Horror Story, with Halloween. <clears throat> they, uh, they do have collections for American Wear from London, Leprechaun, My Bloody Valentine, Return of the Living Dead. Uh, when you saw me wear uh, <clears throat> the uh, t-shirt of a... Uh, When you saw me wear the T-shirt of uh, the uh, of Sauna Deadly Night, those are Freight Rakes T-shirts. Anytime you see me wear that, <coughs> uh, sister, that no, there's a company I like to see send me stuff because I could wear the Freight Rakes T-shirts. They're U.S. based. Uh, they're uh, shipping can be a bit pricey for me in Canada. I'm not sure it'd be for you. Uh, definitely worth checking out. They do ship internationally. Uh, what AME? Then you gotta go to Severin. They got they have the uh, all the cars of the dark one, and now they got the the freight rakes t-shirt. They got the the Severn t-shirt with uh, coming out for the strange vice Mrs. Ward. The, the, this is gonna be awesome. <clears throat> um, so we got Sister Street Fighter here, the Blood Thirsty trilogy, and I knew somebody was gonna was probably gonna mention this one, and I did. I bring it up? No, I didn't bring it up. Damn, uh, the Blood Thirsty trilogy is a are three Hammer style uh, Asian vampire films, and. Don't, they're not the hopping vampires. You've seen some Asian vampire films. No, these are very much in the hammer cell of, of it. Really, really cool stuff. Definitely worth checking out. Now, they also got for limited editions, because they're popping up all over the place, they got the Hills of Eyes Part 2 limited edition on here for $18. Definitely worth checking out. I'm dead jab, but I cannot wait till that ILM hits. The One Cut of the Dead, which I, I still have yet to see, but I hear amazing stuff about... Brian, how come you don't mention my channel's streams like that? <laughs> Actually, I gotta check out the stream if I'm uh, if I'm doing it. Oh, that one, that was the, that, I think that was a freight rake shirt, I think. Uh, but I think that one's sold out now. Now the thing though, dude, is that uh, dude, uh, is that the mystery, tea of mystery? That's a possibility because within the tea of mystery T-shirts, there are shirts that are in print right now. Because they always put some aside for the team history. So you never know what you're going to get. And you could get an out-of-print Fright Rig shirt. A One Cut of the Dead, which is supposed to be amazing. I keep hearing about this movie. And I, yeah, I got to watch it. Uh, the limited edition version of that one uh, uh, is here for 15 pounds. Um, you can have models form in here, which uh, Brian, I'm sure you're going to like. Blonde in Love. Uh, got some. This must be a third window release, is it? Um, or second films probably. Uh, we got the the initial version of American Wear from London here. There, see it. Ten pounds. You can get both Ringo films, Pistol for Ringo and The Return of Ringo. I highly recommend them. I really love the Ringo films. We sat down one day, watched both of them. They're very totally different, <clears throat> but it's the same actors in both in pretty much both the films. A couple of different actors, but I think they're filmed at around the same time. Um, definitely recommend them. Black Moon Rising, as we know, is, is produced by uh, by John Carpenter. And some of their, they have some of their Arrow Academy stuff, like being John Malkovich on there. They have uh, Blood Rage. If you don't have Blood Rage, I recommend Blood Rage. Uh, definitely a cool one. And uh, if you like the old school Arrow Academy stuff, uh, I got to say Born Yesterday is a really cool film. with uh, I, I love that one. <clears throat> Love the original. That, that they have brain damage on here. Uh, Brandon kills bound with the Wachow was directed by the Wachowskis. Uh, that's on here as well. There's some great Burt Lancaster stuff like Brute Force on here. Uh, you got some uh, cruisings on here. Dark City, Char or early Charlton Heston stuff is on here. Hey, welcome, Ken. Man, I've seen you in a while. Well, I see you. Then you disappear on me right away. We got the Candyman one, one here, Burnt Offerings, which is, of course is, uh, I totally lost my, what was I saying? <laughs> it's from the guy that, that brought you uh, Dark Shadows. <clears throat> uh, Sid Living Dead. There, there's so much. I'm, I can't mention everything, but I'm trying to mention a, a lot of it here. I got to open up this here because I'm missing your messages and, and there's they're flying by tonight. Because um, when I turn around, say, look at this. Yep, signed by Joe Pantoliano. That is cool. The uh, Vinegar Syndrome, yes. The, as far as I know, Ken, it is still coming for late April. I haven't heard anything uh, like on, a, 
on it yet. Uh, but like any anything, there's been no announcement saying that it's being delayed. So I'm I, I'm hoping for April, uh, let April preparing for May. Uh, but uh, hopefully it is coming. It depends if they've already gotten the boxes in from the Jallo uh, set because that's the thing. The is that uh, the reason that Severance had to be pushed back wasn't just it wasn't because Severin were, were, were lagging behind. It's because that the when you're making big boxes like the ones for the Al Amson set and some of the some of the special features, some of the bundle stuff that that was made from away, that was made from other companies and uh, and brought into them. So that took uh, that 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 obviously what's going on right now in the world slowed that process down. So that's why it's coming in May right now. Hey, Alvin, welcome, man. Right now, I'm on the Arrow website. I was just on the Freight Regs one. I, I apologize. The message went pretty fast there. What, when do I think? Uh, well, is the box the box that's no longer available right for the uh, Jose Laraz one. So I would say, you know, before, definitely, uh, I would say fairly soon. <clears throat> the child where the... Is the child in the uh, in the American Horror Project Part Two? Is that the one? Uh, because if that that's still in, like available in a box set, so that one's not going to be coming out for a bit. Uh, like they they wait a while after the box set, so they don't have like a set time. The same like indicator does. Okay, like the okay this is out of print, and then this comes out like so many months later. Uh, they kind of like to surprise people with that. Um, Debbie to Don, if you're Jim Van Bieber. Uh, like, if you're a fan, fan of Jim Van Beaver stuff, oh, I did see the the video of the Ad, Adamson packaging. It looks amazing. Some people complained. They said, oh, what, the, it, what, what if my disc is scratched? Um, I got a lot of sets like that, including a Hitchcock set and a Alien set. And I'll be honest, the Blu-ray discs rarely get scratched. Uh, or, and if they do, it's like mostly just service stuff that doesn't affect the uh, the viewing. Uh, I've never had a problem with stuff like that. I don't know if it's. I think basically, um, it's like I, I don't want to curse it, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> but definitely a uh, worth a. Uh, uh, the internet, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, we'll keep fingers crossed. <clears throat> I'm up here tonight, but why I'm not in the movie library, a lot, some people asked me earlier, was basically because I wanted to be able to do this. And this screen is big enough so we, I can actually go in and go on. DEF CON 4, if you want to see a movie that was actually shot in Halifax. The regular Blu-ray, that's what I'd have to get. So the limited edition Jimbo's out of print, uh, but they do have the regular one there. Now, Don't Torture Duckling is here, and I did bring that one up because I, also, I often get asked by people why, uh, <clears throat> like, what are some jallos that you should get uh, for your uh, for your collection? So this one right here is one of the tops. If you don't have this jallo in your collection, get this jallo in your collection. Uh, some people like really underrate Lucio Fulci's jallo work, and it's some of his best work. Uh, that he put out. I'm going to be doing like a, a Fulci focus video in the near future, uh, probably around two to three weeks because I'm waiting for some stuff to come in the mail. Um, but if you haven't got this movie, if this movie's not in your collection, it is a great one. <clears throat> and it is a great addition. There's a new commentary on it by Troy Holworth. Um, there was a video discussion on it with, with Mikhail J. Coven, a uh, video essay with Cat Ellinger. Anything Cat Ellinger, man, got to have it. Cat Ellinger, Heather Drain. You, you hear, see those names in, a, <clears throat> in the features. <clears throat> they're, they're worth getting. And it's got a really cool Rachel Nesbitt, too, if she does any writing. This, this is a booklet here for this one. And if you've never seen this one, definitely, definitely check out this one. <clears throat> With a Riz or Tanley, or I'm going to get this wrong. Oh, I'm going to, I got to get his name right. I know they say it in here. This originally had like a slipcover with it too. I don't have slipcover edition. Because this got the composer and this is amazing. Riz Ortoliani. 
the whole one, I don't actually. I actually like the sequel, some of the sequels better than the original Children of the Corn, to be honest with you, Chris. Um, my kids hate Children of the Corn, <laughs> uh, which is kind of my fault. <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, the, the second one I, I found better than the first because I found, I found the, some of the main characters like unlikable in the first one. Uh, I like Terrence Knox, and Christy Clark was on a soap opera when I was a kid, uh, <clears throat> playing Car 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 days where like, she could play Carrie Brady. Uh, but I like the urban one, like uh, the Urban Harvest, Children of the Corn. So uh, that one, and uh, so definitely, if you, Air, Air, it was 88 films, put a box set. I'm not sure if they still have it or not, or if that's kind of a print, or if they're just putting them at singular. But uh, Chris, I know that like three of them were put out by 88 films, and the, the first one had like a bunch of features on it, one big one. We'll look at the arrows, because we're up here, we can look at the vinegar syndrome stuff after. We'll look at the limited editions too. We'll do a limited edition uh, count. I used to do a limited edition count, so if you remember last year, for vinegar syndrome, especially during sale uh, time. Um, so we'll look at that as well. Doom Asylum is here. Uh, the two disc do version of Donnie Darko is here. And these aren't for seven pounds, 50 pounds. So that's not, <clears throat> you know, definitely that's not too bad. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna mention everything here, but you know, uh, Evil Ed, uh, Flowers in the Attic, it's a fun one. Uh, it's fun, yeah, it's fun. Horror Express, I don't have that one. I wish I had that one in my collection, uh, 750. For that one, that's, that's, that is a great one. And Arrow put it the best edition of that one so far. Immoral Tales, if you're gonna watch any of his films, uh, that's one I said to go for first. I think that is the best. If you have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher the name again. It's another name I'm gonna butcher. Just to let you know right away. Uh, and you guys are gonna tell me how wrong I am. So, Valerine, Valerin Burakovs. Uh, I, I, anyway, that dude. <laughs> That made a bunch of <laughs> films. A Moral Tales is the one to go into. It's the one to watch first. Um, <clears throat> like, it just keeps going on and on. Look at the stuff here. You know, I got Le Grand Booth here. Um, there's a, a matinee, uh, Mega Time Squad. As you can see, it's not just Aero stuff, it's Aero Academy stuff. It's stuff from, from their other the companies as well. Bur <laughs> what is that? Valerine Borowitz. Thank you, Troy. I had no idea. <clears throat> yeah, you're probably right. A Miracle Model is here, which is a movie that I, I got to pick up. It's one of those ones that I think slipped way under people's radar. Uh, Microwave Massacre is, is not the best film. It's worth seeing, I guess. So here we got the Old Bly Special Edition 2-disc uh, Blu-ray. It's not the Elevator Edition, but it's still it's the 2-disc Special Edition one. You can still get that. <clears throat> They have, you know, Phantasm, the rich, like just regular by itself here as well. Uh, there's something I heard about the original Phantasm I want to go back and check on. So, yeah, I'm, so, tech, so Texas Audio is here. So there's a ton of stuff. So you'll be able to look into that a bit more. Now, I want to see something. I want to see if this is true or not. Did he do anything? <clears throat> So I'd originally heard that there was going to be like a new remaster of the second film, but I'm not seeing that here. Uh, so I think it's the pretty much the same one as we got. Well, I didn't mind the master of the, of the second film anyway. Um, Sixteen Candles, Weird Science. Uh, did they do seconds? I don't know. I got seconds. I got seconds from Criterion though. I think uh, <clears throat> there's like a ton of stuff on here, like all together, guys. Like. There's like 45 pages of, uh, of Arrow uh, stuff. And it goes, you know, everything from four pounds right up to uh, 25 pounds. So 25 pounds being the most expensive, that, that's definitely not too bad. Uh, but there's a ton of uh, stuff here. Let's open up the Vinegar Syndrome page as well. Let's do a account on some Vinegar Syndrome limited editions. Because <clears throat> I know I have a lot of people on here that uh, do. Uh, Collect vinegar syndrome like me. Sixteen Candles is such a fun film, <clears throat> but it has that creepy part. <laughs> you know, one one part I'm talking about, right? <clears throat> so let's look at some of the limited edition stuff out here from uh, from uh, from Vinegar Syndrome 
and I'm going to start at the uh, at the second page and work my way back to the first page, uh, so, so we can see like it, what here is going down below the uh, the 500. Uh, and there's more arrow stuff coming right now, so the stuff to look into, uh, Brian, if you if you so desire. I can't afford it right now. If you're anything like me, you probably can't afford it. But it's uh, it's good that it's there. So we're you're still good with the telephone book slip cover. That one's got got 500. Now if you it's an odd film, but Catch My Soul, which is, it's kind of an, uh, a rock opera of Othello, is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> very unique film. Uh, 115 copies of that one's left. That Once that one's at a print, that one's at a print. That's it. Uh, so that one's there. That was what, done on one of their sub-labels. Uh, the slip covers to for Demonoid is in 298. Uh, Luther the Geek is at over 500, so you're good with that one, guys, yeah. It is a good film, though. I, I, people like this on Luther, Luther the Geek, but I think it's a really good film. Um, Pigs is still definitely in the 500s. So you're solid with that one. I think Trip to the Teacher is still over 500 as well. So we won't, we'll only focus on the ones that have gone under the $500 range, under 500 amount range, just to let you know. Ones that I think you should pick up. Penitentiary 2 has one of the great, great uh, slipcovers of Vinegar Syndrome put out. I love it. And I love penitentiary films. <clears throat> and they're, uh, but it's down to 96. And it's amazing that Penitentiary 2 stayed with the slipcover as long as it did. <clears> there <throat> were some masks off Amazon. That's cool, man. Plus, sublabel failing piss. Yeah. The one that I was really into was the Sexploitation one. You know, the one that they put out. The I think they got like four or five of them out there. I've only got four of them. I think I've only got two of them. But I was really peeved we'll find out that that one was gone but yeah if you don't have a penitentiary too definitely worth picking up definitely 110 percent worth picking up wonder women it's like one of those cheesy fun action ones <clears throat> you don't need to i mean they're, they're their own thing you can uh oh okay yeah i understand we're making some here actually with some cloth uh, the would you say try would you say that you need to have the see the first one first i mean like definitely like there's thing look, the thing is they've even recasted the main villain <laughs> in part two uh to with ernie hudson ernie hudson plays in part two uh i like part two and three better in part one actually uh I'm, but yeah you can definitely <laughs> you definitely can watch the second one without the first one Shot is one of my favorite slip covers that the Vinegar Syndrome ever did. It's down to uh, 315 yet uh, now, so that's 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 pretty good. Uh, Beware My Brethren is one that I want to get. It's down to 170, 78 for uh, slip cover wise, which is what they got there. Uh, Wacko wasn't one of my favorites. That was down to 326. Uh, it's growing on me. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of Wacko, but it's it's growing on me. One that I do want to get before it sells out, and still over 500, so we're good with Party Line. Um, I'll only stop on ones. 487 for Dominique, so I think you're still good with that. Uh, In the Cold of the Night, though, is down to 94. That's a Shannon Tweed one. Um, is Pets there? I'll find out for you, man. Uh, Flesh Pot on 42nd Street. This one is highly underrated. This is a really good film. Uh, it's Andy Milligan. Uh, the, what I love about this is if you are a writer or you're looking to be a film writer uh i tell you to look at flesh pot on 42nd street <clears throat> because that's a that has some really good realistic dialogue in it so we're they're down to 238 when it comes to savage harbor uh it's a fun film it's cheesy like you, you know what you're getting when you go into savage harbor uh, if you're expecting this to be a buddy cop film because it looks like it on the cover, it's not. It's not at all. In fact, they could easily, easily take Chris Mitchum out of that entire film. Makes no difference. However, if you just want, uh, want a fun action film and you, and, you, and you grew up wondering, I wonder what Wendy Wednesday Adams looks like when she grew up. What would Wednesday Adams look like if she grew up and became a stripper? Well, that, that's answered. In, uh, in Savage Harbor, because Wendy, Wednesday Adams, the actress played Wednesday Adams, is grown up, and she does play a stripper in Savage Harbor. 
No, no, it's the evil towns that are print. Savage Harbor is still there. We still have a few, still a few, I wish it was we. Oh man, I love to work for this company. Uh, over farm to left with less than the dust, so you're good there. Putney Swoop is one that I keep hearing about. 309 are left on that one. I hear great stuff about that one. Uh, yeah, Kobe. So, do you like avocados? Anybody that's seen Savage Harbor knows exactly what that means. It's kind of like, you, and you become like a, a part of an elusive avocado club when you know that. Now, I'll only mention ones here that are under the 500 range or ones that I really think that people need. Um, uh, it's not under the 500 range, but if uh, you are ever looking into some of the uh, adult stuff, uh, then mascara is an extremely good film. Well, they'll be releasing more specials like Evil Town and Savage Harbor. Yes, uh, actually, there's a couple that have been released. Of course, there's a Vice Academy one that's already gone out of print, unfortunately. I did let you guys know over and over again on Vice Academy 1 to 3, so I hope you guys picked it up. It is my favorite so far out of their VSA releases. And of course, the last one was Hell Riders that, uh, that came out. You never been to have Cut Ranch? <laughs> Uh, Hellmaster, I'm guessing it's still over 500, and Play Dead is going to be there for sure as well. And over 500, I'd, I'd be very surprised if they weren't. The Abel Ferreira adult film, which whose which name I'm not going to say, is uh, still over 500. So you're good with that one. So we'll, as you can see, I'm just going to, Putney Swoop, uh, yeah, it is, Ireland Garfield, yeah. I haven't seen Decoder. That's one I wonder about. Uh, 402 left for, for the Vineyard. I'm, I'm surprised the Vineyard is like a newer one that's selling out pretty fast. Family of the Opera. I'm not sure about Family of the Opera. I know Family of the Opera. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not sure which Family of the Opera. There's a lot of Family of the Operas, man. <clears throat> um, Beyond Evil is still, you're still good on that one. A Sexta, Secta Sinestra is one that I'm very interested in. Uh, luckily, there's still over 500 left on that one. I'm hoping to get that one during the sale. Oh, no, right now, Dungeon Studio, I'm just looking at with the Vinegar Syndrome sales coming up in, about, uh, in a couple months, in a month or so, I, what I want to do now is uh, I was, I'm just going into the limited edition section of Vinegar Syndrome. Since I'm up here already, uh, I'm, uh, I figured I'd, uh, I'd uh, look into it for you guys. The one that gets like a ton of like crazy amount of love is Beyond the Door 3. There's 384 copies of the, of the limited edition, and it does have embossed nipples. I'm not even joking. Uh, <laughs> but um, it's a fun. The more I, I, this was one that I was okay with, but I was like, this is not my favorite. And I watched it again, and it's it's quickly becoming a favorite of mine. So Beyond the Door Three definitely worth checking out. And of course, Unmasked Part Twenty Five. If you like, you know, horror comedy, and you know, if you're a fan of slasher at all. Unmasked Part 25 is one that should be in your collection. It is a, it's a UK film <clears throat> about a serial killer, like basically a Jason type serial killer <clears throat> that just, uh, he finds this girl, he falls in love. Uh, it's, it's a really different film. Definitely worth checking out Unmasked Part 25. Beyond the Door 3 as well. Berserker is fantastic. Uh, that's, nobody talks about Berserker. And this is a great, this is a really cool one. I, I love Berserker. <clears throat> So yeah, when they put out their their Halloween like bundle last year, it was freaking incredible, man. Yeah, Unobstructed View Sale Warlock is amazing. Uh, d did you buy any stuff, anything from it? I I did two, I did two rounds for that, <clears throat> um, and and it was and, and I found stuff there that was at a print, that uh, long in a print, which which I immediately grabbed because I, I need to. Berserker is that a bit? It's kind of there. Uh, it's a mystery in Berserker. Like there's, it is this. Is it a Berserker? Is it a Viking Berserker? Is it a huge grizzly bear? Uh, is it something else entirely? Well, you got to watch the movie to find out. And it's worth watching. A Berserker really is worth watching. It is utterly sinful that the Anvil of the Curse collection is still over 500 copies because it should not be. Uh, Savage Don, that one's still good with over 500 copies of VSA. 
The Angel Collection. I keep getting asked, like, should I get this one? Yes, you should get the Angel Collection. It is a great collection. Uh, that one is still over five. And I'm sad when I see the Vinegar Syndrome box sets are still over 500. Candy Snatchers is one that I'm going to be grabbing the next sale. The Spookies Vinyls here for 25 as well. Uh, is What's that limited to? Only 195 left on Spookies Vinyl. So if you're into Spookies Vinyl. Oh, the monitor plate. That's got to suck, man. I had to do that. I'm also saying John's out to me, man. Like, I had to limit the stuff that I was getting this time. Uh, the hard soap one is what? Justine. Which, which Justine is this? Uh, this one passed me by. Vanessa Del Rey. Oh, so it's an adult version of Justine. Um, no, still over 500. So we're good with that one there. Mm. One of the adult ones that looks interesting is the Thousand and One Erotic Nights Parts 1 and 2 are, is here. Uh, Hell Riders. Uh, I doubt any of these other ones are going to be able to print anytime in the near future. Though I do rec if if any box set is going to go to print before any of the other box sets, it's going to be this one right here, the Forgotten Jolly set. If anyone is going to go to print uh, out, of, out of all the box sets, this one will go to print first. Because it does have some really neat, unique stuff on here. Forgotten Jolly box that has trauma and no, not the one you're thinking of. <clears throat> it has Killers 1 of 13, which pretty much is uh, the Spanish version of uh, Then There Were None. Uh, of course, with Spanish, it means some more new and stuff. Uh, and Police Are Blundering in the Dark. Gotta have that one. What are the best vinegar syndrome slasher? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Is Angel softcore? Yes. Uh, it's not a hardcore film. Uh, don't think you're going to go, like, Angel's going to be anything like hardcore, any x rayed or anything like that. Uh, it, it's definitely worth getting. Angel's, like, the first Angel one is, is a thriller. <clears throat> like, hands down, it's, it's, it's a thriller. A, uh, the killer in the first Angel film it is phenomenal. And I had forgotten how phenomenal this guy is like he's the guy from like if you're from miami vice fan he's, he was one of the actors in miami vice he was one of the regulars for the first two, three seasons evil town so far no no evil town and vice academy javid are the two that are out of print so vice academy one of three is out of print and evil towns out of print and just so you know when it comes to a vsa it's not like a regular vinegar syndrome title when they had the rights to do that amount of copies so there won't be any VSAs being reprinted in regular standard editions. Yeah, exactly. And that's a, that, that's a good thing to mention. Warlock, and not just Vinegar for Vinegar Center, but for like a company like Severin as well. Uh, like they, uh, they normally make a lot of their money from, or like a nice, or a nice bit of money going to conventions and setting up tables and they work their butts off there. I, I know what it's like to set up a, ta a movie table. Uh, it, it's, it's it is honestly backbreaking. Um, and you think, oh, they're just sitting around. No, they're, you're. Uh, have you ever even gone to a flea market? You're like on a limb, on a small. Think of it on a, on a bigger scale. Uh, yeah, they would sell like a ton at conventions. Severin too, and uh, but right now they have to depend on the fact that people are hopefully going to be buying their stuff online because they're getting the Jones and they're missing the convention stuff. They're not being able to get it. Eating rule is yeah, eating rule is on Criterion, I think. Paul Bartel, I love Paul Bartel. You were, uh. So this is your way to get it right now, <clears throat> and the thing is, more people are going to be buying online. As now, as I think we're going to see more stuff as we figure out the way like things are. Uh, are structured uh, like as in like how getting stuff uh, now I know that vinegar syndrome has a uh, and warlock probably won't tell me more on this one um, has a dis distribution company here in Canada so uh, when when I order vinegar syndrome it, it gets shipped from Canada as long as long as able to get shipped to Canada uh, initially so I know that unobstructed view are the ship does shipping for 
uh, cry. Oh, Josh, uh, there's two. There's the Aero sale going on, and Freight Rags has a sale going on for the Tia Mysteries. Uh, nine bucks each, which is incredible, and Pins of Mysteries for three bucks each. So we, there's an Aero sale going on right now. Uh, there's an Easter sale, and there is a, uh, a Freight Rag sale. So two sales. <clears throat> oh, you headed out, Chris? Am I missing stuff? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think right now Vinegar Serum and Severin uh, are, are putting off some of, of the best releases I've seen come out in a long time. And they're becoming very eclectic. Um, I A lot of people were excited about Rad and they were picking that one up. I was excited about uh, Horror on Spider Island and the Strange Ways to Mrs. Ward. <clears throat> Those were ones that were, were like grabbing my attention. So uh, I go back and forth. I mean, they both have my heart. They really do. Um, Vinegar Sandin was like is my big company, but I, but Severin is 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 you know as as inch the way up to like where they're right now they're, right they're they're tied. <clears throat> a keynote lace. No, I actually never have a keynote unless this guy have, have any issue. Al Abson said Javid is amazing. <clears throat> it's one. Of, it's definitely going to be one of the sets of the year, in my opinion. Uh, just for like the move, the the width and breadth and the like the scope of the films that are out there, and uh, and the fact that that documentary, which a lot of people have already seen, I have stopped myself from seeing it. I know it's on Amazon, but uh, I want the box set. When I get the box set, that's my birthday present. Man. When I get that box set, it's uh, that that's that documentary is going directly into my uh, into my Xbox One. I'm watching it right away, uh, but I don't want to watch it before then. I don't watch the digital version of it. I don't want to rent it. I want to see it when I when I get the box. It man, uh, I bought the bundle. Like well, my better half bought me the bundle, the three hundred dollar bundle. Um, so I, you know, when I, I'll be unboxing that here on my channel, by the way. So I'll be wearing that cool T-shirt. Uh, we'll look at the the poster with the, that'll be uh, autographed, and uh, I'm very excited about that. They actually got in some more. Um, I need rich friends. Is what I need. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, well, let's go to Severn here for a second. Uh, the good thing about being up here, and uh, let me know uh, what you think about me doing some videos up here, uh, and let me know if you like where I'm at, if you like the way that this is done. Uh, if I have disrupt, for example, a criterion eight and a half. Or the only disc rod I've ever gotten on any release is, uh, like I mentioned to you guys like a, a, a couple episodes ago on, on here, was Bad Influence, which is one I really was really disappointed because I really wanted to watch it. I've only had uh, MGM release, the only one I've ever had disc rod on. I am so excited about that. So, yeah, let's look at it here. So the, I was so, I was really stoked. I was going to see if I could pick up the horrors of Sa Satan's Strange Bundle or the bundle of Spider Island, but they both sold out almost immediately. I don't see... The the worst thing, Brian, is when I got uh, Bad Influence, I don't know how old it was, but it was it was sealed. And there's disc rot in it, it was sealed. Because I broke it open. So you never know, right? But, like, there's some great stuff. Like, some stuff Severance put out right now, The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward... Uh, it has a score by uh, Nora Orlandi and definitely a really, really good score. Uh, that, uh, that That's definitely worth checking out. Uh, I think that the spiders, those, those, those little spider creatures, uh, is what sold those seven sets so well, so big. Laser discs can have more problems. I haven't had any problems with my laser discs, but I haven't like put on all of them in a while. Either so you know, uh, strange voice of Mrs. Ward, horror, horse of Spider Island. Like I'm, I don't like spiders, but horse spider is a different type of spider. One, it's it's pretty cool. Satan slave, definitely worth checking out. But now, I mentioned it before, and and I kept mentioning it on like, Twitter and on here as well. They brought in extra copies for the bundle of ghastly horror and extra copies of bundle of go go, uh, and they sold. Uh, but just to let you see what kind of what I'm going to be. Unboxing hopefully by in sometime in May. Uh, it's going to have the it's going to have the box set, which, which looks incredible. It's been shown online. 
the arrow sale is on arrow films uh website so i think it's yeah arrowfilms.com if you go to arrowfilms.com that's where the sale is right now and a lot of the uh they've redone some of the special editions that they put in box sets and uh are putting them out with uh with standard editions much like they do with the ring and the house set so there's uh even phantasm has got a cool set there this route it can happen on it's exactly what you what you think it is. Uh, it it is this rod. The disc you know the disc can get like unplayable. Uh, it happens mostly on laser disc players, but it can happen on DVDs, especially if they're stored in, in like in a kind of a damper area. Um, but sometimes it's really it's, it's just a matter of like a roll of the dice with uh, with certain stuff. I've I've never had it happen on any of my big companies. Uh, also, by the way, there's a freight rags sale going on right now as well. Uh, nine dollar T mysteries oxidation of metallic layers of this warlock thank you again man you saved my day <laughs> that's a, actually the uh, complaining again Alan <laughs> the Apple computer screen is big that <laughs> that's why we use it um, But like, yeah, it's got, so the bundle that I got coming has got the Vampire Fangs. Uh, I'm just kidding now. Uh, a Sam Sherman autograph postcard. I'm a huge Sam Sherman fan, so that's going to be a big deal. Uh, Severin, yeah, it does have an enamel pin, Al Amson pin. The Satan Saddest Patch, a 7-inch vinyl is on here as well. Uh, Naughty Stewardess Boarding Pass. Uh, Carnival Magic Shirts. But the big thing for me is it has a uh, two posters, one of them. Is signed by by Van der Vorkoff, by Dracula and Dracula vs Frankenstein, John Bud Cardos, of course he's a director as well, uh, but he acted in some films, Marilyn jo Joy, and of course the great Gary Kent, who uh, was a uh, stuntman and uh, is the, as I saw I'll say it before, I'll say it again was the inspiration for uh, for Brad Pitt's character in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No, I've had like some blue, some DVDs and Blu-rays like, oh God, for years, and it really seems like almost like a, a roll of the dice. I do try to buy a more Blu-ray now uh, if I can, but uh, if it's if they're both the same, I'll buy them. VHS, I haven't had very much problems with VHS. What Severance big release? Well, it has been kind of. Said on the last Severn Seller, I don't think there's been a Severn Seller since. If there has, I've missed it. Uh, that there is a Black Emmanuel box that coming out. And for those that are, are unaware, one of Severn's very, very early uh, releases actually was a was Black Emmanuel. They put out two volumes: Black Emmanuel box at volume one and Black Emmanuel box at volume two. I went uh, into a Severn archive and. Uh, I was able to, and I went back because I was on the Unobstructed View website, and I noticed that they had some seven boxes that are in print right now. Uh, so I went onto an archive site to just look at Severn's older stuff. When our Severn, you know, we, they show the archive uh, once, and they did early on a, a manual Black Emanuel box set, Volume One and Two. So it's rumored now that it's not rumored; it's pretty much known now that. There's a black manual box that coming out, a Blu-ray box that coming out. Uh, he had all, oh man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous, Jason. It's coming out on Blu-ray anyway, so you're finally going to be able to get it on Blu-ray. So they had sold out completely of their uh, their, Jess, uh, their Jess Franco sets, but it looks like, from what I can tell right here, uh, the Astrologer's Open Pleasure Bundle and the Open Pleasure Bundle are, are both back in stock so damn and that's good because the regular edition both the blu-ray and dvd of cries of pleasure sold out the blu-ray of night night of open well that's sold out as well uh but the jane mansfield mondo Bolorado box set that's back in stock wow that was i thought that was sold out for good uh, so that's interesting to see Because right now they're limited with their stock. A lot of their stuff, their bundles, everything is sold out. Um, uh, 
Oh yeah, DVDs aren't going anywhere. <laughs> uh, uh, DVDs, like, just go to your local Walmart and then see where, where the bins are. There, yeah. Oh man. Well, that's it, dude. You you came back in style. The killer crocodile one. Like some people like the 88 films one. I grabbed the Severn one. Uh, they still have the wax mask, a limited edition. That, that That's a cool one. I'm not sure if it's a limited edition. But what the hell? How come Night Killer still out of print? Damn it. I, I like Night Killer. Are there any musicals on their site? Uh, maybe. You know, I really don't know. Uh, the Beast and Heat's one I really want to get. Uh, Uncanny I'll get eventually. Um, definitely stuff worth checking out here, guys. That can't be in print. That's got to be good stuff. Okay. Uh, didn't know this. Uh, this, you probably can't see it very well. Uh, this is the Hemisphere Horror box set. It's a great freaking box set. It's got Curse of Vampires, The Blood Drinkers, The Black Cat, Torture Chamber, Dr. Sadism, Brain of Blood. Uh, it was a really, really cool box set. It came with a poster as well. Anyway, this has been sold out for like a long time. Um, Severin, like most companies, will always keep so you got to know you say we'll always keep some copies for conventions and as you know right now conventions aren't happening this year oh more than likely for the rest of this year anyway could i just approach i no i don't know <laughs> maybe the next time that i'm on here when i uh, i figure this out but at 72 minutes in i uh, i kind of can't figure it um so i apologize <laughs> but uh I would have to call my cousin. And uh, so next time I will. I promise next time I'll adjust the brightness for you guys. So you can see. <clears throat> but the Hemisphere Horror, if you don't have it, it's, it's back in print. It's back in stock. That's the thing, Jason. Basically, uh, they had put some aside for the conventions. So uh, the ones that were, the, were going to be on the convention floor... Uh, obviously it's not going to be in the convention floor anymore. So if somebody doesn't have the Hemisphere Horror box set, holy crap, that is a really great buy. Uh, Definitely an amazing buy. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can do this. You guys don't get... Let's go to... What do we got to do here? I'm going to try to do this for you guys. So, systems preferences. Let's find display. All right, here we are. Click display. Where the hell is display? Okay, so let's turn down the brightness on the screen by that much. So there's, don't say I don't do anything for you guys. And where the hell is my stuff? Where's my Safari at? There we go. So, does that help at all? <laughs> Let me know. I just lowered the you 
you can play. <laughs> you can play in a lot. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. So this, this is good as I can get it right now. So tell me this is good. So this is the Hemisphere Horror box set right now. Can you see it? I think you can. I think I've done a good. I work hard for you guys. <laughs> you can make that now. Good. Excellent. I, I can actually see it there too. <clears throat> okay, so this is a hammer store horror. I know you got it. You got it, Jason. Uh, if you don't have this set, honestly, 110%, I, I really recommend picking it up. Uh, but you can't get any closer because that's, that's, a, that's as big as it gets. <laughs> Like I, I'm like not even joking. The Hemisphere Horror Box, if you don't have it, 100% pick that up. Um, got some very cool films in there. Now I want to look to see if there's anything else here that's, that might be, might have been out of print before. I'm not sure if the Mondo Frodo, Mondo Bizarro was out of print or not. That's still there. Um, I really, if you don't, if you like Jello and you don't have all the colors of Jello, blue, three disc, three disc Blu-ray one, uh, definitely pick it up. Read four comments down. You know, I'm just teasing you, right? Uh, no, I've never thought about that, uh, uh, Brian. I really should, actually. I should be putting these on uh, on uh, on Facebook. Because here's the thing. There's a lot of people that they go on Facebook and they do stuff, and they promote their channels, and they get like a bunch of viewers. And I, I'm, I'm so lax on that. I really should. I need to do my Facebook page, too. I want to do a Facebook page for my channel. I definitely think Fan Expo is going to be canceled, Warlock. I cannot see it happen. Uh, I've heard, like, around here, there, there's there been rumors that this is going into November is when this is going to, the isolation thing's going for. Oh, Brian, please, honestly, 110%. You have my, you have my, uh, you have definitely have my, my authority to go in and put it on Facebook. Uh, I, I would l so appreciate that. Um, and I'm not. That's. I'm not, I, I should be more social media savvy. That's literally what I did for a living for a while. Um, <laughs> well, I'll be getting Josh 4K eventually. Not when it first comes out, though. Some people are upset because the cover is different. But I. That's you know. I just want the movie. I got it like a dozen times. That's the thing, right? But I'll work on this. By the way, when it comes to like. Uh, so I'm just joking, with you guys. I'll work on this so you guys can see it well. The one that I would love to see come back in is the Blood Island tril Trilogy box set. I, I would be like bagging to a better half that one came back in print. Like all their, like all their bundles are, are out of print here, except for like a, a couple. Devolved, actually, not a bad film. If you were ever to see the the Amicus box set coming back to print, like definitely grab it. Definitely grab that one. It is still a little bright. I mean, I'm still we're, I'm gonna let's try this one more time. And I don't like we're really gonna down the brightness on it here for a second. And hopefully that works out. There we go. This that this is about as unbright as I can get it. It's just the type of screen it is, and it's an older screen too, so this is an older iMac. This is not a new iMac. I've noticed that they've done like a, they've, that some convention places have done, a, <laughs> thanks, um, have basically had their, uh, you could buy like talks online, but the, but the actual like the, uh, them talking, talking, what well, was free, like for certain conventions, they'd have like a Facebook uh, type of uh, of chat, like an online chat, and you could buy like questions or something like that for uh, with uh, with with autographs for uh, for sixty dollars type of thing. But the, the the expo itself, the fan like the convention itself, um, you could go and watch the uh, watch the panels per se. 
but yeah this right here strange vice mrs ward if, if you don't if you don't have angelo and, and you just you want a really really good one with a great soundtrack uh get you know get on this one a virtual convention is a neat thing i mean uh for me i i, I want I, go, I used to go to conventions and uh well you're in there you got to meet a lot of people already two evil I, I don't mind it i mean it's a. Uh, it's definitely not the direct either one of those directors at their uh, at their top of their uh, the top of their uh, top of their game, but uh, well the light bulb can't go. So just just let you know that one. <laughs> yeah, when the wind blows is definitely severing kids. <laughs> severing kids is uh, that's a dark label. Like there's like here's some stuff. For your kids anybody that's ever seen has anybody seen the wind the wind blows i know obviously <laughs> obviously you have um but if you haven't seen when the wind blows oh man it's dark it is super dark <laughs> definitely worth uh, checking out though if you like th the happiness of threads, check it when the wind blows. But uh, but um, bump bump. Yeah, but strange vice Miss Ward, one of the top jowls in my opinion. Uh, strongly recommend it. And the the bundle that they got coming out for it has a photo comic. Uh, as well. Now, if you're younger than me then you you probably don't know what a photo comic is but uh back when i was younger my cousin w used to read a lot of those like romance books and stuff like that right but what the font started having at my uh, local drugstore were romance photo comics and what the neat thing about that was, was i was a big fan of jellos when i was young and they'd show a lot of jello uh, stuff I have a great night, Kobe. Parasite. Oh, I got to check that out. I like Parasite. But I don't have Hulu, though. Damn it. Canadian, remember? Uh, but they'd have these... They'd basically, you'd open up these photo comics. They'd be these romance photo comics. And you'd see people like Serena Grande and other people uh, like that in there. Uh, like big actors. Uh, big Italian actors and actresses. Uh, so apparently they made like photo comics for like some of the Jallos as well, which is kind of interesting. There's one for the uh, the Spider Island one as well. Somebody just mentioned National Lampoons. Yeah, National Lampoons did have the photo comics, and that's kind of where it was inspired from. Was like the was the French and Italian photo comics that would come out. I think they're mostly Italian. Oh, I love Cronenberg. <laughs> Oh, Serena Grande? Uh, I think she did some adult stuff, but I know her mostly from her, uh, her, her, like, her other stuff. But somebody mentioned a t-shirt. They wanted an Edwidge Fenich t-shirt. Well, do they have it listed here? Right here. There's an Edwidge Fenich t-shirt. The and and one of her one of her best films too, The Strange Voice of Mrs. Ward, Edwidge Fenich t-shirt. You get that one, you get all the colors of the dark t-shirt, and you got yourself some Edwidge Fenich wear to wear around proudly, because you're an Edwidge Fenich Jello fan like me. And they're both Sergio Martino films too. Two good Sergio Martino films. Uh, actually two really good Sergio Martino films. Some people don't like Strange All the Colors of the Dark. I, I do. It's a very different Jello. But that being said, yeah, I wish the Dead Zone TV show was able to like finish. You know what I mean? They don't, but they did have Barbara Steele uh, at one point doing uh, like autographing copies of the movie they put out by by her. Um, it's too bad they didn't do like their pins back then. I would love to have a Barbara Steele pin. I I would kill for that Night Killer pin. Uh, I, I definitely want that one. We do need a friend of Balkan tea.
But there we go, guys. With all that being said right now, it is that time. Once again, <laughs> there's only one Tra Tracy Lord's adult film that's available to, and Tracy Lord's is the, it's called Tracy, I Love You. It's the only one that's uh, like, that can legally be put out. All the rest of it was done when she was underage, unfortunately. Uh, so those are all destroyed. <laughs> uh, I am Aaron. This is not my movie library, but this is, I guess, my, my movie study. My, so, uh, and you, you're the call to cinema. You guys rock. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, throughout the trials and tribulations of trying to get this thing, the screen, what lookable. Um, just uh, remember, there are a couple sales. There is the Arrow video sale. It's amazing. There is the, vi the vi there is the mystery, the tea of mystery sale from Fright Rags, and they also have enamel pins, pin of mystery ones as well. Uh, all worth checking out. Have a great evening, guys. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. And uh, the French is dorm. I like that actually. That's cool. <laughs> and have a have a great, fantastic evening because it really is time for tea at the Cold Cave.